Hello guys, today this is gonna be um the quiz and this time this is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be me answering the um this is gonna be the answers. So um I'm gonna now um tell you guys the answers. So here we go. So um let's start with question one. And don't and don't forget this this episode is, is up to ten questions. The first 10 questions is very easy. You guys should get them. You should get really at least 9 out of 10 for out of these 10 questions. But yeah, let's start. So question number one. Who scored the first goal against West Ham in 2006 FA Cup final? And the answer for that on question is... And it's B, and it's Drupal Cisse. Drupal Cisse did score. He, he did score the um the first goal when we were um two nil down. I think we were two nil down at the time, or we might have been one nil down. But yeah, but Drupal Cisse scored the goal um first for us against West Ham. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Question number two. How many League Cups does Liverpool have? And I'm not talking about the League Cup that we won last season. But before... I'm not going to mention the answer just yet. But how many League Cups we have won, right, before last when before we won the League Cup last season? So how many League Cups at the time? Anyway, um, the answer for that question is... Is... D number eight. So we 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 have won it for the eighth. We won it eight times before we won the league cup last year. That would have been nine, but before that we won it eight times before we won um a league um league cup last season. So yeah, it was eight um eight um league cups we have in our um at the time. Anyway, let's head into the next question. Question number three. Who was the manager bought Harman from Newcastle United? And the answer for that question is is D. Gerard Hule. Gerard Hule, obviously he passed away now. He he passed away, but Gerard Hule was a really good manager. Um, he. he um, yes, he won us four trof- major trophies overall, but I know he didn't achieve that much, but he won us the trouble, man. He's the f- second manager in our history to win or to win us the treble. All right, it's not the greatest of trebles, but I would have taken the. I would have. I, I would. I would be very happy, man, to take the treble. I don't care how many. I, mean, I don't care what kind of type of trophies they are. I don't care, but to win the treble in that season 2001, unbelievable, man. But yeah, John Hule was the manager who bought Harman from Newcastle United. All right, next one. Question number four. Name one of the European teams, or should I say teams, were in Liverpool's group in 2005 Champions League campaign. Now that was easy. You, sh- you guys should really, should really know this. But I'm going to mention the answer. And the answer for that question is. Is B. Monaco. Monaco actually won the group. Um, that year. They actually won the group. And we, we finished second. We finished second. That, um, um, that Champions League campaign. We would have been. Knocked out by Olympiacos. If Olympiacos beat us. But um, we managed. We needed to score three goals because Olympiacos scored the goal at Anfield, and we needed to score three. And I remember, um, Steve. Um, obviously, Stephen Jones scored the third goal. Um, the first goal was um, Mela. Mela scored the f- no. He scored the second goal, and who scored the first goal? Um, f- for us at the time. Um. It was Mela scored the second. Who scored the first? 
Um, Cinnamon Man goal. That's it. That's 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 it. Yeah, he scored the first goal. Miller scored the second, and then our captain Steven Gerrard just whacked it in, man, to make it three one. And we beat them. Beat we beat Olympiacos. Um, we beat them, and we finished second that season. And yeah, man. Um, yeah, but it was Monaco. Monaco were our group. Anyway, here's Hennington, um, question five. How much Andy Carroll cost when we bought him from Newcastle United? Now, that was, again, that one, that one is easy. The answer for that question is... And it's, a hey, 35 million. I don't know why we bought him for thirty five million. I, 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 even even us fans were flabbergasted why we when we bought him for that much money, thirty five million. It was a lot of money at the, at the time. That was a lot of money, um, back then, in two thousand and two thousand twelve, two thousand eleven twelve season when we bought Andy Cowell, or was it two thousand ten eleven? But it's one of those two seasons. We bought him for thirty five million and. Let's be honest, he, he, he did flop. He, 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 he did flop, man. And um, I don't want to even want to mention, man. But um, anyway, let's move on. Um, question number six. Who scored the most goals in the Premier League era for Liverpool? That one is going to... That one, I think that was a little bit tricky. Not, no, not very tricky, but I think this one's... This question's quite tricky. But anyway, um, the answer for that question is and it's groups and it's C. Robbie Fowler. Robbie Fowler scored the most goals in the printing era. It was people gonna think that it was Ian Rush, but it wasn't. Yes, Ian Rush did play in the printing league era. He did, but he. He didn't score nowhere near as much as Robbie Fowler in terms of in the Premier League era. The Premier League started in 1992-93 season. And um yeah, Ram Ian Rush was playing was still playing for us, but he didn't score that many goals in the Premier League era than Robbie Fowler. Obviously Torres came in and then Suarez. Quality strikers, but it's not it's not Torres and it's not Suarez. It's Robbie Fowler. He scored the most goals in the Premier League era for Liverpool. Right, next question. Question number seven. What was the score when Liverpool beat Manchester United at Anfield in 2008-9 season? Interesting, that one. Anyway, I'm going to tell you guys the answer. The answer for that question is... And it's A, 2-1. We won 2-1 at Anfield in 2008-9 season. 2-1. It wasn't 2-0, it wasn't 1-0, and it wasn't 4-1. We actually beat Manchester United 4-1 at Old Trafford. But I said Anfield, so it's not 4-1, it's 2-1. We beat them, we, we done the double over them. That season, we won. We won two one at Anfield, and we won four one at, at Old Trafford. But yeah, that was the score, two one. We won two one in that game against Manchester United. Right, next one. What position did Liverpool finish in the two thousand and fourteen fifteen Champions League season? So what position, guys? What position? And the answer for that question is Oh wait. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh sorry. Oh, that that meant to be nine. Oh sorry. Um and it's C and it's um third. We finished third that season. Um, yeah, we didn't have we didn't have the greatest of Champions League campaign. Um, we were we were pretty um, 
we were awful that season in terms of the Champions League campaign. And then we got, obviously, we we gone down to the, to the Europa League that season. And we lost to Pachistas, Benchichas, I can't even pronounce the team's name. The team from Turkey, we lost on penalties to them in the round of 32. I remember that game. Lovren was absolutely terrible in that game. Um, it was he was terrible. Um, Dejan Lovren, I thought, I thought he was terrible, and um, other players as well in that game were terrible as well. And yeah, in in terms of the Champions League, we finished third. We did not finish fourth. We didn't. We didn't win the group at the time. It was the reason why we fell. And the thing is, what baffles me about this about how we finished third. Yes, we had Real Madrid in that group, but we had Basel at the time. Basel were our group, and they finished and they finished second. Basel and Lugo Goretz finished fourth. So it was Real Madrid, Basel, and Lugo Goretz, and we should have finished second that season. Um, Real Madrid, all right, fair enough. They were a strong side, but we should not finish third. Um, below um Basel at the time. Basel were on our group. Uh, Luga Goretz, um, they finished fourth. But we finished third that season, man. Embarrassing, man. But yeah, that is question number nine. I'm sorry that I, mix, I missed up the questions. Um, let's see now. All right. <laughs> Let's start with question number eight. Question number eight. Um, when Chubby Alonso left Liverpool in 2009, who was the replacement? I think you guys have seen the answer now. Um, the answer for that question is... Akirali. Akirali was... Um, he was the replacement of Chubby Alonso. And let's be honest, I thought he was brilliant for Roma... He was fantastic for Roma, but when he joined us, he just didn't work out, man. He just didn't work out. Didn't work out, man. It wasn't Charlie Adam, it wasn't Gareth Barry, and it wasn't Lucas Leiva. It was Akuali. And I thought he was terrible for us, man. Um, in 2010. Not on um, um, 2010 season, right? I thought he was poor. Um, Akirali, and he was a massive flop, and yeah, man, he was poor. So yeah, that was the answer. Akirali, he he was so poor, man. Anyway, um, let's go to and the last one. Question number ten. Sh anyone should get this. It's, that one's very obvious. Who was the captain in 2003-04 season? That was very easy, man. You should, guys should be getting this. The answer for that question is... And it's Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard was actually the captain. That was his first F... That was his very first season to be captain. He captained Liverpool. And that was his very, very first season to be captain. Steven Gerrard was the captain that season. It wasn't Sammy Hoopier, right? Hoopier, um, it wasn't Sammy Hoopier. It wasn't Jamie Carragher. It wasn't Pepe Arena. And also Pepe Arena, he didn't, he, he didn't went to Liverpool. He went to Liverpool later on. So it, it wouldn't be Pepe Arena. He never was the captain. And plus, we bought him about three years later. Yeah, I think, no, two years later. After, yeah, two years later, that's when we bought Pepperina. So it had to be Steven Gerrard, right? And yeah, he was the captain, and that was his very first season to be captain that season. And yeah, that's it, guys. That is the end of the um, quiz. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing these quiz during the international break. And also... I'm going to do the next one during the World Cup. So when the, or should I say before the World Cup. So before the World Cup, I'm going to do another 10, qu um, another 10 questions before before the World Cup. And then, um, and then after that, then, yeah, 
then I do another ten quiz, um, and then on to, um when the next international break about around March, the next international break, and yeah, and whoever gets the most questions right will get, will get um will get a medal. An imaginary medal, I should say. So yeah, that's it, guys. That is the end of this um this video. Um, see you guys next time, and goodbye.